Okay, we're just heading off on our next little adventure. Uh, no, no, we are uh, going to be cycling the length of the River Severn from the bridge to the source up in the mountains of West Wales, North West Wales. So the river is about 220 miles long. We've got about a 40 mile ride to get from Cirencester to the start of the river, which we're doing right now. So first, first aim today is to get to Gloucester. We've got David, who's riding it. And Rich who's, come, Rich who's come along to escort us, make yes. sure we get away. Okay. Seven on a bridge obviously <laughs> so this is really the start of the ride properly and then we've just got to head upstream for 220 miles and we'll get to the source just crossing back over the uh, river seven on the upstream side now so that's where we're going to be heading following it up that way Sharpness Docks, which is the start of the Lost Sharpness Canal, which comes in from the, uh, the River Severn, obviously. So we've just crossed over uh, Sharpness Marina, and we're going to pick up the. Uh, yeah. Sharpness Canal Trail for a few miles now. Oh, you don't often see that, do you? So we're just riding along in Epney and back alongside the River Seven. This is actually one spot where you can uh, surf the seven bore. And in fact, I've surfed it here seven, three or four times. And you can get a pretty long ride, float down, down river and then surf it back up. Okay, we just started day two of the trip. I had a stop with a friend of mine last night. Really nice day, just on the outskirts of Gloucester. And first thing today is uh, we're going to be going through the middle of Gloucester, through the docks and uh, joining up with the Seven again. So we've been trying to find our way out of Gloucester. It's a bit of a maze of tracks and trails. We've eventually found the right one, but they've quite kindly put lots of these gates on the trail, which is a pain in the neck. <laughs> so we uh, found our way out of Gloucester eventually, and we're on the 
cycle pathway follows alongside uh, the river heading out towards Maysmore I think it is so we just popped out of the track <laughs> that we followed from Gloucester onto Maysmore Bridge crossing the Severn again this is actually another surf spot the, the, the highest spot you can surf the Severn you can come from down there surf it underneath the bridge if you're lucky and carry on a little way that was a hill. It's supposed to be flat by the river, but lovely view back over Gloucester and the valley. Well, we've been cruising along the Seven Vale. Lovely, lovely flat roads, and the sun is out, which is absolutely superb. Fancy meeting you here, Dave. Just coming into Upton on Seven, crossing over again. We've got a lovely uh, run into Worcester along the riverside uh, cycleway. Wow! Well, 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 well. So this is where all the swans hang out. <laughs> Just uh, coming into Beaudley. Okay, we're just passing through Bridge North now, nearly at the end of the uh, second day's ride, and riding along by the river again. Okay, so we're heading for Coalport for the night, which is just this side of Ironbridge. And um, we're staying at the Youth Hostel. And there's the sign to Coalport, six miles along the river, so it should be flat. It's dropping into Coalport. Well, we're getting ready for day three. Um, looks like a lovely day out there today. Um, we're in the youth hostel, which is a beautiful old building, industrial building, and we're having our breakfast. And there's the man eating his second or third breakfast. Is <laughs> All day breakfast. All day breakfast, yeah. So just heading from Coalport to Ironbridge to see the Ironbridge on a lovely little track again. It looks like a, an old railway line. More hills. Okay, here we are on the Ironbridge, the first Iron Bridge, apparently, yeah, um, and it was built in 1779. I know that because it <laughs> says it over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
So we're just now uh, heading towards Shrewsbury. So we're now following the old Shrewsbury Canal path, which takes us into the middle of Shrewsbury. It's about three or four miles long. Very nice, gets off the road. Fantastic uh, track, trail, bike trail, right through the middle of Shrewsbury, follows the river all the way through, absolutely superb. Well, a few miles from uh, Welsh Pool now, just crossing over the Severn again. It's getting smaller and smaller. Just heading past the massive quarry to basically take a big chunk of the mountain away. So we're about five miles before uh, getting to Newtown and we just dropped onto the Seven Canal Path and uh, spotted this, which is the second iron bridge constructed in the county of Montgomery. Hard to get to actually, it's pretty well hidden. So we're just going along the uh, Seven Canal Pass. We've got about six miles to go into Newtown. Absolutely beautiful and the River Severn is on, on our left. So we're starting to get into the Welsh mountains now. Heading for Carcis and then Llanidlois, which is where we're staying tonight. It's definitely getting hillier. We're going to like in those hills, David. 70 miles and no food, Dave. <laughs> He's trying to get him off the food. He eats too much. You can tell by the look of him. It's just like Scotland, but more hills. <laughs> so we've just been climbing a monster hill. Let's see how David is. And we've now got a two and a half mile descent, by the looks of it, down into Carasus. So David's rear gear cable has snapped right on the last climb of the day. So we're just going to plug away. He's doing incredibly well. Walk the steepest bit. But then after this, it's a couple of miles downhill to the pub where we're staying. So he's doing a great job. So we made it to Flanagloise, the mountain, there it is. Looking forward to getting in there, having some beer and some food. How are you feeling, David? Good. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, just heading out on the uh, fourth day, and this is the day we go up to the source of Severn. 
had a little bit of faffing about this morning. Had to repair David's gear cable, rear gear cable, and that's all sorted. So it's probably half nine, 20 to 10 now. So a bit later, but just heading out of town. So what an absolutely beautiful final day we've got. I think it's gonna get up to 20 degrees today. But lovely morning, heading into the Hafren Forest. So just riding along the Severn here. It's a lovely little, lovely little stream now. We're probably about seven or eight miles from the actual source now. So here we are on the final seven bridge of the trip. Don't know how many we've done, quite a lot. This one is a bit smaller than the first one. And uh, here it is. <laughs> and the river is absolutely crystal clear and beautiful. Not like the uh, brown muddy river we have down in Gloucestershire. So we're just riding on a little road above the mighty River Severn. That little trickle down there. So uh, where we are, where are we now, David? Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Say, say that again. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Forest. Yes, we're just entering the Hafren Forest, which yes. is where the source is. Yes. So we just got to the car park where you access the trails and right away up towards the seven source. So we're just riding through the woods. It's beautiful. So what about this for a day, David? This is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? It is absolutely awesome. It is stunning. Shame about the weather. <laughs> yeah, well, we are in Wales. <laughs> oh, it's just glorious. Absolutely glorious. Awesome. Yeah. So the track's getting very, very steep now. You can cycle a little bit and then push, push, push on and off the bike. It's getting to be hard work. Here he is. I want to go home. Having fun, David? <laughs> <laughs> Are we nearly there yet, Dave? Oh, I think we're about two miles away. Well, we've got to the end of the rideable tracks now. Uh, there's three quarters of a mile to go to the source, so we're going to dump the bikes, lock them up against the gate down there, and uh, do the rest on foot. So we've locked the bikes up, got our packed lunch in the bag. We're going to have lunch at the source of the Severn. So here we are, we have made it to the source of the Severn. 
Hey, hey, what a day for it. Awesome. Yeah. It's all worth it, David. Oh, unbelievable. Four days, start to finish. Unbelievable, what an adventure. What an adventure. And here we are. Amazing. Also known as Hafren in Welsh. It's Hafren Forest and it obviously starts with a little pond on the top of the mountain. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. What a day to do it on. It doesn't get much better. So time for a little picnic at the source of the Severn. Great picnic spot too. More food for David. More food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Great sandwiches. Mm. So we're heading back down from the source now. I'm um, going to pick the bikes up <coughs> and then carry on up to McCumfluff Mountain and then down the other side. It's a massive, massive descent down into McCumfluff and on to the coast for the end of the ride. So just done a monster climb from the other side of McCunthless Mountain, coming up from the Hafen Forest. But now we're going to have an absolutely amazing downhill. Uh, what a view. following the uh, River Dovey, the Dovey Estuary. Beautiful evening. It's about 4.30, quarter to five in the evening. Absolutely stunning. So we're just rolling into Abu Dhabi. Beautiful evening. Cruising through Abu Dhabi now. <clears throat> Just stopped for a pint of beer as we're very close to the end of the ride. And uh, Abu Dhabi is looking very, very nice at the moment. So now we're just heading towards Terran, which is the end point of the whole trip. And it's just about a couple of miles ahead. Just rolling its toe in, and we're on the seafront, and this is the actual finish of the ride. And we've been very lucky with the weather, it's been awesome riding with David. And here's the finish. 
Beautiful. Well done, David. Beautiful. Give me your high five. <laughs> <laughs> we've well, made it. We did we've, make it. We've made it. We've made it. <laughs> Thanks to you, Dave. And the spreadsheet. <laughs> the spreadsheet. Yeah.